I've been talking a lot about skincare recently because it is just so important. And I've found more articles that are worthy of sharing regarding skin changes that can occur when lymphedema progresses. I want to talk about one of the most common skin changes that I see in my practice called hyperkeratosis. Hyperkeratosis is a thickening or a scaly like appearance of the outer layer of the skin. This type of skin change occurs due to the accumulation of fibroblasts, increased adipose tissue, and keratinocytes in the tissue that are a result of prolonged inflammation from chronic edema and lymphedema. This creates a firm or a hard tissue consistency of the layers of the skin and makes it even more difficult for lymph vessels to properly drain fluid from that area of a limb. Less drainage means more fluid accumulation and more hardening. Thus, this combination often leads to a vicious cycle of worsening lymphedema and skin issues over time. It's also associated with a higher infection risk. Aside from visible swelling and size of a limb, these skin changes, which usually start very subtly, are often the first indication of fibrosis of the tissue and perhaps progression of your lymphedema. Often the patient will notice, you know, skin wrinkles that are more pronounced and that's when patients usually come to me as a sign of progression or sometimes even for the first time as an initial sign of lymphedema. I want you to know this can be treated and it can be improved, but without treatment, it will certainly eventually lead to infections and potentially wounds, which will both worsen lymphedema and require specialist intervention. If you haven't already, make sure to watch my previous video on skincare, which talks all about what you need to know. Hyperkeratosis responds to meticulous skin care. Oftentimes an emollient is used. An emollient is an ingredient in moisturizer or lotion or body wash that helps to attract water to the skin, helps prevent loss of moisture out of the skin, and it also helps to soften the skin itself. It creates a protective barrier on the top of the skin and it may form a film or a greasy or thick barrier on top of the skin. This barrier helps prevent bacteria and irritants from entering our skin into our body. And there are different types and brands of emollients to use, and if caught early enough, an over-the-counter product with lower water content is preferred. This type of lotion should be utilized as a course of complete decongestive therapy, and it should be started as soon as possible. Now the components of CDT will remain the same with some modifications. For example, the manual lymphatic drainage or manual hands-on component, it gets common to utilize stronger techniques or firmer techniques in order to soften the hardened tissue in order to further improve lymph flow. Bandaging or compression garments may need to be customized, may need to be tighter with increased padding or textures added to help soften these areas of the skin. And skincare continues to remain essential with the goal of keeping the skin as clean and sanitary as possible to prevent infection. Exercises for lymphatic pumping should always be utilized and should continue to be utilized with hyperkeratosis. If there's no change seen in the skin after one to two weeks using this emollient or increased compression, then the referring physician should be notified and a dermatologist referral may be appropriate as well. A case study shown here shows before and after pictures of a patient with hyperkeratosis at the ankle. And look at the results that were seen with just four weeks of a course of complete decongestive therapy. It can be helpful. And my goal here is to show you that improvement is always possible, even as lymphedema progresses, even as things might be seeming worse, please call your referring physician, call your certified lymphedema therapist, and make sure your entire team is on the same page to help you get the care you need. My name is Lisa Berman Silvestri. I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist, and my goal is to make us all lymph smart.